The UK has successfully fired a high-power laser weapon against an aerial target for the first time in a trial. Advanced future military laser achieves UK first. While laser weaponry might sound like something from science fiction, the US Navy has already installed systems on several destroyers. However, missiles rather than lasers have been used to shoot down drones during the current conflict with Houthis in the Red Sea. Missiles can be far more expensive than the drones they destroy, with some costing millions of pounds compared to a few thousand. A military laser which could boost the UK armed forces with greater accuracy while reducing the reliance on high-cost ammunition has reached its next milestone. The UK Ministry of Defence says firing the Dragon fire system for 10 seconds is the cost equivalent of using a regular heater for an hour. With the cost of operating it typically less than £10 per shot. Laser weapons are here for real after the UK successfully fired a high-powered beam at aerial targets. Named Dragon Fire, the laser costs around £10 per shot. In comparison, destroyer missiles can cost around £1 million each. The range of the weapon remains classified, but the Ministry of Defence said in a statement that the precision involved in the testing was equivalent to hitting a £1 coin from a kilometre away. It is a line-of-sight weapon and can engage with any visible target. The UK has successfully fired a high-power laser weapon against an aerial target for the first time in a trial. It is hoped that the test will pave the way for a low-cost alternative to missiles to shoot down targets like drones. During a trial at the MOD Hebrides range, the Dragon Fire Laser Directed Energy Weapon System achieved the UK's first high-power firing of a laser weapon against aerial targets. The range of Dragon Fire is classified. But it is a line-of-sight weapon and can engage with any visible target. Dragon Fire exploits UK technology to be able to deliver a high-power laser over long ranges. The precision required is equivalent to hitting a one-pound coin from a kilometre away. Laser-directed energy weapons can engage targets at the speed of light and use an intense beam of light to cut through the target, leading to structural failure or more impactful results if the warhead is targeted. Firing it for 10 seconds is the cost equivalent of using a regular heater for just an hour. Therefore, it has the potential to be a long-term low-cost alternative to certain tasks missiles currently carry out. The cost of operating the laser is typically less than £10 per shot. Dragon Fire is led by the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory. On behalf of the UK Ministry of Defence working with its industry partners MBDA, Leonardo and Kinetic. This milestone demonstrated the ability to engage aerial targets at relevant ranges and is a major step in bringing this technology into service. Both the Army and Royal Navy are considering using this technology as part of their future air defence capabilities. The latest milestone builds on a series of highly successful trials, including the first static high-power laser firing of a sovereign UK capability and demonstration of the Dragon Fire System's ability to track moving air and sea targets, with very high accuracy at range. Building on this research, the MOD recently announced its intention to fund a multi-million pound program to transition the technology from the research environment to the battlefield. The latest trial was sponsored by the MOD's Defence Science and Technology Organisation and Strategic Programmes and enabled by many other agencies across government. Ensuring all regulatory and safety approval requirements were satisfied. The Dragon Fire Weapon System is the result of a £100 million joint investment by the Ministry of Defence and Industry together. The companies involved are supporting highly skilled UK jobs in new cutting-edge technologies that are delivering a significant step change in the UK's capability in laser-directed energy weapon systems. In 2017 the MOD's Chief Scientific Advisors Research Programme awarded a £30 million contract to the Dragon Fire Consortium to demonstrate the potential of laser-directed energy weapon systems. The Dragon Fire Weapon System is the result of a £100 million joint investment by the MOD and industry. The development of laser weapons comes amid the increasing use of drones in warfare, which has been seen during the conflict between Ukraine and Russia, with Russia believed to be using Iranian-made kamikaze drones to attack Ukrainian cities. Ukraine, which also uses some kamikaze drones, has created its own army of drones which has seen the use of hobby drones for military purposes. This is a really innovative application of science and engineering and is the fruit of sustained investment and effort. 
Dragonfire uses cutting-edge science and technology and delivers much greater performance than other systems of a similar class. Dragonfire provides a step change in our ability to deal with high-performance and low-cost threats. UK Defence is continuing to invest in these game-changing technologies and is advancing the plans which will ultimately bring them into service. Defence Secretary Grant Shapp said the technology could reduce the reliance on expensive ammunition, while also lowering the risk of collateral damage. The Ministry of Defence says both the Army and Royal Navy are considering using the technology as part of their future air defence capabilities. Defence Secretary Grant Shapp said, this type of cutting-edge weaponry has the potential to revolutionize the battle space by reducing the reliance on expensive ammunition, while also lowering the risk of collateral damage. Investments with industry partners in advanced technologies like Dragon Fire are crucial in a highly contested world. Helping us maintain the battle-winning edge and keep the nation safe. DSTL's chief executive, Dr. Paul Hollinshead said, these trials have seen us take a huge step forward in realizing the potential opportunities and understanding the threats posed by directed energy weapons. With our decades of knowledge, skills, and operational experience, the STL's expertise is critical to helping the armed forces prepare for the future. Shimon Ima Director Strategic Programs for the Ministry of Defense said, the Dragon Fire Trials at the Hebrides demonstrated that our world-leading technology can track and engage high-end effects at range. In a world of evolving threats we know that our focus must be on getting capability to the warfighter and we will look to accelerate this next phase of activity. LDEW research and technology is delivered in partnership and is a cost-effective way of meeting the needs of the Ministry of Defense while maintaining UK industry's technology and skills base. UK Defence is continuing to invest in these game-changing technologies and is advancing the plans which will ultimately bring them into service.